Look, we are a humanitarian organization. We care and our mission is to serve humanity and to provide the humanitarian assistance and medical attention to those people who are wounded and who are sick. We are seeing every minute that passes by more civilian people are killed, children, women, uh, uh, and elderly people, normal civilian people who have sought refuge. You know, this evening, we had a call with one of our colleagues who fled, as was told, who evacuated to the south in Rafah. He was worried. He said, my wife didn't come back home. I'm going to go out and look for her. A couple of hours later, he comes back to us and he says, my son has been killed and my wife is critically injured. These are people, these are civilians. Every minute that passes, there are more lives lost. And we appeal to the humanity of the world. We still believe in humanity. Nothing, nothing, nothing justifies this tragedy, the killing of civilians on both sides. Well, let, let, let me be very clear here. Israel is the occupying power under international law, and this is also the statement from the International Committee of the Red Cross. Under international law, Israel has the responsibility to protect and care for civilians that are under its control. Then I think all countries around have sent uh, aid. They are waiting for the border to open. But as I said, this, this evening, our colleague was killed in Rafah, near the border. A convoys of people who were fleeing to the south were killed and targeted. The Rafah border was bombarded a couple of days ago itself. So I think in order for aid to get in, we need a ceasefire. We need the cessation of hostilities. And that is critical for aid to come in from Egypt, from Israel. And we understand that Israel is also ready and has access through the southern border to allow for trucks to get in. We have trucks ready to go from the West Bank to Gaza. And this needs Israel permission. It, believe me, it's, it is far worse than anything we have seen. We've been throughout this, this conflict. Un unfortunately, we've seen many wars, many escalation of violence and hostilities, but we've never seen in a couple of days, a couple of thousand people are killed. The vast destruction throughout Gaza is, is immense. We, we've never seen something like this. We have, we have went through wars. 2008, 9, 2011, 14, 21, 22, but this is, this is unprecedented, unprecedented.